All right, what's good Spirit Squad and everybody else? Today we've got one of the biggest updates we have ever seen in a multi-format sweeping of ban list updates. And if you play Magic, Magic has a little something for you today. So everything is changing, everything is important. This is a huge, huge, huge day. And honestly, Magic might have just given us the best Valentine's Day present we ever could have asked for from a company in that they show that they love us we actually get to play the magic we want to play again um specifically in modern modern has been a bit of a dumpster fire lately we just had for probably the first time in multiple years a modern challenge not fire this last sunday which given that it's valentine's day not enough of an excuse like people still fire out to these events at all points in time over the course of the americas europe Asia and everywhere else around the world, Magic Online, the entirety of it, couldn't find 32 people to fire a modern challenge. That is how you know something really needed to change, and luckily, change it has. And check this modern update out. We've got Field of the Dead banned, Mystic Sanctuary banned, Simeon Spirit Guide banned, Tibalt's Trickery banned, and Uro banned. We already knew about the Uro, of course, but look at all of this this means like oops all spells is going to be a whole turn slower primeval titan decks are not going to be able to win with field of the dead anymore mystic sanctuary plus cryptic command is not going to be a lock anymore simeon spirit guide i've been asking for that card to get banned for a while and yeah i'm gonna feel a little bit like a traitor asking for somebody to ban a spirit but here we are and of course we already knew about uro from last week's update and this is a very very good spot for us as spirits players because all of those decks take out a lot of the the hard parts of our matchups so now we actually get to expect to survive until turn three and that's where our spell quellers and skyclave apparitions start being great so start looking for even better things to be coming out of the spirits deck i'm i'm getting really hyped for it but also other formats too so pioneers has both Balustrade Spy and Undercity Informer are banned, so Oops All Spells is basically not a thing. Teferi Time Raveler banned, so that people can actually play instant speed magic in that format. That way, people will just, you know, be able to play reactive control decks, be able to play cards they like, and, as always, we are still on Spirits in Pioneer, so we'll be able to actually get to rely on our Lofty Denials and Spell Quellers and other instant speed interaction to make that pretty sweet, too. I'm here for it. Wilderness Reclamation is banned, which is another really big deal. Um, so not only are you just not going to have the bad time of having your opponent untap on turn 5 with like 106 mana, but again, we as Spirits players benefit because we're no longer as susceptible to just dealing with like 11-11 Shark Typhoon tokens. So that's just going to be really nice. If you are playing on Arena, Omnath and Uro are both banned in Historic, which... I don't know if that has any effect on like a mono blue or a blue white spirits list or a bant or whatever, but hey, whatever, it's a change, it's made, we need to know about it. And in Legacy, any Legacy aficionados out there are definitely going to notice that Arkham Astrolabe is banned, so if you want to play with five colors, you're going to have to open yourself up to Wasteland again, so that's something that's really, really big news. And now like the, the Snoko decks are going to be much weaker because they can't just jam everything they want anymore. You don't get to just go, hmm, Astrolabe exists, so I'm just going to build the best five color pile possible. Not a thing. So Strifle Piles, Snoko, any of the three and four color like amalgams that are also trying to play Blood Moon, all of those things are going to have to play much more fair magic or open themselves up to Wasteland. So, well, Death and Taxes, here you go. Also, Dreadhorde Arcanist is banned, and that's something that people have been asking for for a while, right? So, like, all of the um, Blue Red Delver decks, all of the Rug Delver decks, all of the other decks. Um, even Infect was playing Dreadhorde Arcanist because of how good it is basically everywhere where you have one CMC spells, and, well, that's basically all of Legacy. So, seeing that card banned means that a lot of other decks will have to play Fair Magic again, too. So, you're not just gonna have, like, Doomsday Piles featuring four of Dreadhorde Arcanist to make your preordains and your brainstorm smoother. Nope, just real Fair Magic. Also, Oko is finally banned from Legacy, 
And that's another one that people have just been playing basically in everything that can jam it, right? So like Lands, Oko, Delver, Oko, Infect, Oko. Like Infect is actually kind of crazy because like think about this, like a deck that wants nothing other than 12 creatures, vulnerable hierarchs, a couple of counter spells, and a bunch of pump spells, right? That's your deck. But it made room for both Dreadhorde Arcanist and Oko because of how absolutely busted those cards are. So yeah. That's, that's the kind of life everybody was living for a really long time. And now that both of those cards are banned in Legacy, we no longer have to worry about just people basically doing whatever they want because their decks are ultra consistent. Also in Vintage, got an unban! Hey, look at us go. So Loris is unbanned in Vintage. So, well, now's your time. If you want to play a cat deck in Vintage, here you go. Um, also... We got a really sweet rules update, and the rules update is for Cascade. So Cascade is now going to say that you can only Cascade into spells that are a lower CMC than the thing you Cascaded from. So even though Valky has both a 2-drop and a 7-drop on the side, you'll now only have the option to Cascade into the 2-drop part of it. And that's going to make it so that well, Modern's no longer just absolutely broken by turn one tip alts, but it also solves a lot of problems for the future too. So if you want to do your things like Cascade into like Restore Balance or Cascade into Crashing Woodfalls or um, Ancestral Vision, you can still do that. Cool, your deck's not broken. But tip alts not broken either, and that's really a net positive for everybody. So I'm really glad they made that rule change. But that's going to be really it for the, the big update here, and we've seen that in multiple formats. It definitely benefits us greatly as multi-format spirits pilots, but also everybody else will actually want to play Magic again. So you'll have modern challenges that actually fire from now on. You'll have people playing cats and vintage, and you can rinse and reuse your Black Lotus, and that'll be pretty sweet. And if you heard that little meow earlier, that was definitely Kristen having a good time with that. If you um, want to... Leave let me know about your opinions on any of these bands. Let me know right in the comment section. And as always, if you like what you're watching, just make sure to like the video, sub to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.